here at Sebring, day three. Uh, another nice day, although breezy here. And I'm Dan Johnson talking to a couple of fellows with the Atoll Amphibian from Finland. I think you're gonna enjoy this conversation. First of all, this is Ansi Rekula, is the man I met several years ago when you first promoted this. An airline pilot now paying more attention to light aircraft. And Paul Richards, his uh, compatriot here in the United States. So, welcome. Thank you. You had a good start to the day here, tell me. Tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, we had a great start for today. We had a first uh, sold aircraft for, uh, we have this uh, program for Icon deposit holders. So we, we have a guy who has been waiting for Icon and, and uh, now he transferred his uh, order for us. Excellent, so you captured a sale here uh, even without having a full-size aircraft here. Even that, yeah, of course it's challenging to be competing with the other guys who have their own aircraft and, and uh, be able to, to give demo flights. So we, we, for many reasons, we couldn't bring our own flying aircraft here, but yeah, we're still going, doing a good job. But the aircraft is flying in, uh, in your home country. You've, got, you've been amassing some time on it. Tell me a little bit about the uh, flight program so far, what you've been doing with it. And then, well, before we get to that, let's go back in time a little bit to the earlier version of this airplane and kind of bring me up to the present okay. with the original one. Yeah, well, actually, we are having an anniversary for 30 years with, with this aircraft. And so 30 years ago, we had the first flight with the previous model designed and made in Finland, and those were sold as kits at that time. And then after many, many different phases, we started again after six years ago with a new version, totally upgraded one. And that one, uh, give me a couple examples of how you changed it. And it's important to note that this aircraft has got a lot of wood in it, which we don't see so often these days, especially in updated designs. Yeah, yeah we mostly use wood composite which is proven to be light and durable and has no uh, like problems with corrosion and, and uh, it's very easy to repair, easy to make and, and everlasting. So, so we use mostly wooden uh, on, on the fuselage and then we use all the other components uh, we use uh, where they are at their best. So we are not only one, one material plane, we, we have them all. And all, like all the metal parts, they are made from CNC cut uh, aluminium, so, so it's all very up-to-date design and, and modern plane, but with a history. Now, let's let now with the new airplane, how long have you been flying it? We've been flying more than two years, and, and uh, we, we've, uh, of course, we have restrictions in Finnish weather, like right now the aircraft is in Arctic Circle in Rovaniemi, where our factory is located, and, and uh, we have a lot of uh, weather issues right now, but we fly whenever we can. And, and uh, right now we are testing different propellers to find the, the best one for, for okay. our production model. What, uh, what engine is powering the aircraft, Nancy? The engine is uh, Rotax 912 oh. IS. Okay. And this is, uh, give me an idea how it performs with that engine on it, on a typical day. Yeah, it, it performs very well. Like, like uh, the takeoff distance is short and, and uh, we found out that our empty weight is, is so low that, that the, uh, the 100 horsepower is really enough for us. Yeah, there are people that say, well, 100 horsepower is not quite enough for a seaplane. There is definitely some more going on on a seaplane, retractable gear for one obvious reason or explanation. But your aircraft is lighter than some of the other models that are out there on the market. Tell me some of the numbers. Yeah, the, the, uh, the basic weight is about 800 pounds. So we have 600 pounds payload. That's the passengers and fuel. So that, that's the best in the market, I guess, in, in the seaplane class. How much fuel does it hold on to? It can hold 34 gallons. 34 gallons, so okay, so quite a bit. Yeah, you can stay out there eight to nine hours. Wow, okay. Okay, Paul Richards uh, visited up in Maine. That's You're correct. at what I would call an incubator where they, uh, other parties, uh, the city or the state or somebody has come in and taken an old uh, military field, I believe, and That's brought that. it up to speed. So uh, We are located in an incubator space, which is a former 90,000 square foot hangar space, which has been completely outfitted with modern manufacturing capabilities ranging from CNC equipment. Uh, we're, we're completing, as we speak, a brand new layup room with a composites oven, brand new paint booth. Uh, we're attached directly to a 40,000 square foot hangar, which has been completely renovated, new roofing system, uh, infrared heat, all new LED lighting, new doors, and that leads us directly out to an 8,000 foot runway. 
and on either end of the runway within literally uh, probably a quarter of a mile we have fresh water on one end to land into and salt water on the other so it's the ideal location both for manufacturing and test demo flights training for such an amphibious project. Well I could kind of infer from your main location and your Finland location that this airplane likes to be in cooler climates, does it? Well, <laughs> it, it performs well there and it's well suited for it in the sense that not only is it an amphibian that will land on water and on the land, but when fitted with skis, which is a standard option, it'll operate on snow as well. So very unique char characteristics and not only can we fit it with skis, but it is one of the only airplanes I know of with retractable gear that can have the skis retract with the gear. Ah, okay, I did not know that, and I was wondering if you just left them down when they were there, but you've made that work as a retractable That's correct. ski equipped. That's I, correct. I'm gathering it's ski and wheels? That's correct. Yeah, That's correct. Okay. The penetrating wheel style right, that okay. we're familiar with. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, so now let's come back to that other question about when Americans might see the airplane, and it's, we've, we've seen lots of, I've written about it, other people have written about it, we've seen video and so forth, but when are we going to see a live example here in the United sure, States, sure. do you think? So we can say one American, at very least, has seen it and flown it. So I've been to Finland uh, several years ago when I became involved with the project, I had the pleasure of flying it, uh, it flies very nicely. So, uh, and of course the question of, of when can the general public see it. Our plan that we're working towards now is we're beginning to ramp our production capability in Brunswick, which is where it will be manufactured for the North American market uh, under a joint venture arrangement with the, I'll call it the parent company, ANSI's uh, uh, Atoll Avion. And our plan is to have production airplanes ready for delivery this time next year, uh, affixed with airworthiness certificates from the FAA. And under, under the SLSA program. So we will be manufacturing, selling, supporting all of the functions of that, which, which we think is really important for the North American market, for the, uh, the comfort of customers to know that the airplane is not only delivered here, but is largely manufactured here. Now manufacturing for us will be uh, consisting of a lot of components sourced from Finland but it will be much more manufacturing centric than bringing a completed airframe and strapping the wings on, which is what most yeah, import most operations Yeah, it's, it's a shipping reassembly, e not so exactly. much a building of the airplane. Exactly. Engines, avionics, brakes, things like that, of course, will all be sourced locally and installed. Sure, no locally. reason to shift all those around exactly. all over the place. Exactly. Well, congratulations on your sale today, and we'll keep uh, keep te keep touch with you about when those deliveries will begin to happen. Um, you don't know that for sure yet, but you're targeting about next year before regular deliveries will start to happen. So we're still a year out on that, but good luck on the news on the uh, congratulations on the first sale, and good luck on nailing down some more between now and that time. Thank you. So let's have a web address where people can keep up with what's going on now. If you'll give us that web address, we'll put it up on the screen for everybody. Okay, it's atol.fi and atol.us. Okay, there you go. Very easy. You can find more about the Atoll and all kinds of other affordable aircraft on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Ansi Rekula, Paul Richard, and myself here at Sebring 2018.